I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, two brothers are dead in an apparent murder-suicide. R.C. Rush was found dead Tuesday night in Bryant, Alabama. Authorities believe his brother, Carmen Rush, shot him and then drove to a field behind Eider Church of Christ and shot himself in the head. Both men were in their 50s. The motive is unknown. The Terminal Brew House building is up for sale. The century-old building goes up for auction February 4th at Mountain City Club, and it comes with an interesting benefit. The building's buyer will secure a lease with the restaurant that includes nearly 2,000 beers, 12 free cold ones a month for the next 12 years. The building is worth close to $700,000. Pressure is mounting for the Hamilton County School Board to discuss the future of Superintendent Rick Smith. Smith has been criticized for allowing 20 days to pass before deciding to talk publicly about the Udawa rape case. Now, Hamilton County Commissioners are encouraging the school board to take action. Sabrina Turner Smedley says it seems the public has lost confidence in the system, and Greg Beck says he thinks it's time for the school board to consider a change. The school board meets tonight at 5.30. We'll have live coverage at timesfreepress.com. The Udawa High School athletic staff is starting to fight charges against them. Attorneys for Coach Carl Williams and Athletic Director Jesse Nately say their clients should not be charged in the case. The two, plus Tank Montgomery, are charged with failing to report suspected child abuse. All three are scheduled to appear in court today. We'll have live coverage at timesfreepress.com at 9 a.m. After slipping to second place in 2015, Chattanooga has regained its title as the most Bible-minded city in America. The study is conducted by the American Bible Society. A bill seeking to block same-sex marriage in Tennessee has failed in a House subcommittee. The bill could have cost the state $8 billion in federal funding. Authorities in Calhoun, Tennessee are searching for a 46-year-old man who disappeared Christmas Eve. Roy Gerald Brown was last seen in Cobb County, Georgia, but his car was found in a Calhoun Rite Aid parking lot after New Year's. $500 and a cell phone were inside. A Marion County clerk took in more than $36,000 doing background checks for private companies on taxpayer time. The Tennessee Comptroller's Office says the clerk took payments from five companies. A similar issue involved three clerks in Bledsoe County last year. No criminal charges are being filed in either case. Assistant Public Defender Mike Little has announced he's running for Hamilton County Criminal Court Judge. He's up against Prosecutor Boyd Patterson and Judge Tom Greenholtz. Two Hamilton County employees have retired. Director of Maintenance Worth Lillard and Director of Emergency Management Don Allen both started work on the same day in 1979. Finally, bus driver Norma Sanders will be the first female inducted into Carta's Million Mile Club. The 61-year-old has driven a million miles without being charged in any accidents. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 43 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 39. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.